if you've been in the Bahamas for the last 25, 30 years, you would have known Mr. Jack Thompson, one of the most colorful Bahamian government administrators. He has been in Abaco, for sure, uh, Bimini, and uh, maybe you've been, been to Columbus too? <laughs> but Jack was a very, very colorful administrator until he was appointed director of immigration. <laughs> in addition to that, he was, I recall seeing Jack leading the National, what is National Youth Band? Marching Band. He was the man of, ma Grand Marshal of Marching Band. Very colorful. And then he came into immigration. Every, boy, every day you turn on your radio, you hear of the quote unquote work done by past Minister of State for Immigration, Randall McCarthy. But the man who did the work at Immigration is, and in all ministries, I want, want you to understand. Here in late in our country, ministers have now been taking the role which ought to apply to the director. They will make all the statements. It's the director who do the work. The minister is a policy man. They're taking the bad times, though. They're, they're hogging up all the party and the limelight. But the man, I believe, who did the work in immigration yeah, yeah. is none other than Mr. Jack Cross. And Jack is still there, and I look for Jack to do great things in immigration. Uh, I'm not ready to speak. I'm now about to leave you. Now, those of you in the corner that are worried who's the speaker, the speaker is now coming. None other than Mr. Jack Thompson. I'd like to get on the press. Thank you very much, Mr. Bismarck Copley. Mr. President, Madam Chairman, distinguished Rotarians, and indeed members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. Let me first of all say how pleased and delighted I am to be here. I wish to take this opportunity Where are you going to, my head? to thank you Come for on. your kind invitation. And it is always good to be in good company. Uh, it's always good to be here. It's always good to address uh, the, give you an update on what is happening in the Department of Immigration. Immigration in recent uh, weeks has been in the news a lot. <laughs> I think that's probably why you are here today. <laughs> the Bahamas Immigration Department is one of several agencies which provide a key and a critical service to the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. The department, which was formed in January 1939, is very, very important today. The decision, the policies, and even the actions of the department can have a lasting impact upon the Bahamas for generations to come. It is therefore imperative that public confidence and trust in the department remains high and always regarded and taken into consideration. Distinguished Rotarians, Yes, 
ladies and gentlemen. The department's mandate is spelled out in its mission statement, and I quote, to regulate the movement of people across the borders of the Bahamas so as to ensure the security, facilitate the economic advancement, and promote harmonious <coughs> social development in the Bahamas through col collaborative efforts of responsible and non-government agencies, both nationally and internationally. Our vision statement and our goals are as follows. To ensure that ports of entry are properly equipped in order to control the flow of immigrants into the Bahamas. Number two, to cooperate with local and international law enforcement agencies to ensure the security of the Bahamas and its people. Three, to promote the delivery of quality service to provide the necessary training for administrators, immigration officers, clerical staff by conducting in-house workshops and seminars and to encourage the pursuit of higher education. Five, to effect a timely processing of all applications for temporary or permanent immigration status. The Immigration Department is a hybrid of servers and enforcement. On the one hand, we are required to provide service. We are the keepers of the gate. We are the protectors of the gate. And we are the ambassadors of the gate. We are responsible for detecting those who should not enter the borders of the Bahamas. The gate. And those who are allowed and authorized, we are expected to welcome those persons to the Bahamas. To the gate. Additionally, we are required to issue in a timely manner various classes of permits to those who wish to reside and work in the Bahamas. And that must be done in context, proper context, and in concert with the laws of the Bahamas and within the laws of the Immigration Act, Chapter 191. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the service part. On the other side, we are required to execute our duties in the enforcement side and forever be ready to act and to execute our duties in this area when called upon. Now, the subject at hand. I've been asked to share with you uh, the new initiatives which we plan to undertake or which are in the uh, pipe mill in order to fulfill and to carry out our mandate. I've always said that in order for any agency, government or organization to fulfill its mandate there are three very essential components that must be present. First, you must have a mandate. You must know what you're doing. And then you must have the will to do it and to carry it out. Secondly, you must have the human resource. You must have the people to make it happen. And you must motivate the people. Keep them inspired and to ensure that they know what the policies of the government are, are as it relates to the mandate. And thirdly, 
you must have the technology and the tools to get the job done. Because I don't care how many or what number of persons you have, and I don't care whether you understand the mandate, you must have the technology to make or to get the job done. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Bahamian expectation as well as that of our foreign investor and our visitors must be met by the department. By this, I mean that we are expected to carry out our duties professionally, responsibly, and without fear or favor. There are several initiatives which we are now embarked upon in order to make this happen. First of all, public relations. Uh, I believe that there are a number of persons, Bahamians and otherwise, who seek to do things the right way. And in that regard, we have established a website, www.bahamas.gov.bs, and we have our website up, and we uh, invite you to go to that website and, and scroll on Immigration Department, and you can uh, find out uh, some more information. We, in addition to the uh, website, uh, we shall launch in uh, next month, in a couple of weeks, our new brochures, our new colorful brochures, yeah. uh, which seek to share information about our various classes uh, of uh, permits. Oh, yeah? um, I feel that uh, the time has come for us to have uh, brochures, uh, handouts for people who visit the office. Um, it ought not to be, depending on who you talk to, you get a different answer. It ought to be in writing. And so, uh, uh, what is a homeowner's card? How do you go about getting the homeowner's card? Uh, there is the resident spouse permit. Uh, there is a brochure permit to reside in the Bahamas. There is a brochure about how to go about getting permanent residency in the Bahamas. Uh, there's a brochure about work permit. Uh, there is a brochure about citizenship in the Bahamas. Uh, there's a brochure about, as I said earlier, the homeowner's card. But we believe uh, that when you visit a department, whether it is here or in a family island, you should be able to take away a brochure and uh, and read up on it and learn about what is required. Not everyone has got uh, a, a, a computer or internet, and so sometimes we think this can be very, very helpful. Number two, a help desk. Uh, we believe, and I've noticed personally, that a number of persons are inquiring about the status of their application for permanent residency and uh, uh, citizenship. Uh, I submitted my application. I ain't hear nothing. Where is it? Uh, we believe that there ought to be a help desk or an inquiry desk where you can go in and 